And we're going to listen to the last post played by Simon Bell as we pay our respects to the fallen and then we'll leave a few moments of silence. So we're going to listen now to the last post played by Simon Bell. is now going to be lit by a flame emanating from the christening candle of Blaise Etheridge Clark, who sadly died on Boxing Day, aged six years, in 2012. This flame will be handed over by his parents, Teresa and Tony, to the next generation of neighbours, spanning several years and starting from the 1940s. Something's happening in there. Yeah, we have to go in. Hey! <laughs> right. So let's uh, let's put on all the lights now. Now that the beacon's burning, let's switch all the lights on. It's brilliant. I'm now going to read um, the tribute to the millions. Let us remember those who so selflessly gave their lives at home and abroad, whose sacrifice enables us to enjoy peace and freedom that we have today. Let us remember those who came home wounded, physically and mentally, and the friends and family who cared for them. Let us remember those who returned to restore their relationships and rebuild their working lives after years of dreadful conflict and turmoil. Let us remember the families that lost husbands, sons and sweethearts. Let us remember the servicemen, merchant seamen, miners, brave civilians and others from Commonwealth and Allied countries who fought, suffered and died during four years of war. 
Let us remember those in reserved occupation and the brave people who kept us safe on the home front. The doctors and nurses who cared for the wounded, the women and men who toiled in the fields, those who worked in the factories, who all played such a vital role in the war effort and hope. Right, I wonder, I wonder if you could play it all again and we could all join in with Jingle Bells. <laughs> <laughs> And now we have the City of York Pipe Band playing the Battle of the Song. City of York Pipe Band, Battle of the Song. This poem is by Tony Church and it's called Home at Last. He's home at last, a mother's son, a fine young man, his duty done, yet not for him the fond embrace, a loving kiss, a smiling face, or cries of joy to laugh and cheer the safe return of one so dear. It is his lot to show the world a soldier's fate as flags unfurl and standards lower in salutation, symbols of a grateful nation. Sombre now, the drum beats low as he is carried, gentle, so as not to disturb his rest by comrades three and three abreast, who now, as quiet orders sound, they, one by one, then move around to place him in the carriage decked with flowers in calm and hushed respect. Tune in our hearts once more to the fairy strain, to hear our names on voices we loved, and after, turn with a smile to sleep in our dreams again. Then, with a newborn strength, the sweet rest over, Gladly to follow the great white road once more, to work with a song on our lips and the heart of a lover, building a city of peace on the wastes of war.
the Clifton and Rawcliffe School Choir. Again to the Clifton and Rogers School Choir. Thank you. It's great. We cherish too the poppy red that grows on fields where valour led. It seems to signal to the skies that blood of heroes never dies, but lends a lustre to the red of the flower that blooms above the dead in Flanders fields. And now the torch and poppy red we wear in honour of our dead. Fear not that ye have died for naught. We'll teach the lesson that you wrought in Flanders Fields. If I should die, think only this of me, that there's some corner of a foreign field that is for ever England. There shall be, in that rich earth, a richer dust concealed, a dust whom England bore, shaped, made aware, Gave once her flowers to love, her ways to roam, a body of England's, breathing English air, washed by the rivers, blessed by sons of home. All that took part tonight, everybody who contributed to tonight, and we need to thank also the sponsors. There are many people who sponsored. So let's give them all a, another round of applause. Thank you. And thank you to all of you who've braved the cold to come here and to make this evening what it has been. Uh, the Rec Pavilion is, is open now and we encourage you to go to the Rec Pavilion, buy a few drinks, buy some food and just en enjoy the evening, and enjoy the continuation of this evening. But for now, uh, the end of this uh, particular part of the celebration has come and we listen to the York Air Cadets Band playing Fife's Evening Hymn, followed uh, by the St. Chad Grace Scout Band playing Sunset. <laughs>